What's up guys, this is Fred from Think Tech. Um, today I want to do a little video about the different notebooks that I have tried and what I found will work best for me. So, I started bullet journaling um, probably around August, no, July of last year. So, the first notebook I tried was a composition notebook. Now, this particular composition notebook is not the one that I was using at the time. However, it um, is a great example of why of of the notebook that I use, and here's why I didn't like it. As soon as you open it up, you see that this is a, a wide ruled notebook, and I absolutely hate wide ruled paper. I hate it. I've never liked it, um, and I think in large part that is due to the fact that my mom used to um, make me write small so with wide ruled I feel like um, I don't write big enough for it so I don't like this so I use this note, a notebook like this for about two weeks before I toss it to the side and I pulled out a regular spiral notebook again this is not the spiral notebook that I use um, I wanted to go through that notebook with you guys but I can't locate it at the time at this time so um, with the spiral notebook I did like that it was um, college rule paper. Um, I love college rule paper. I have always used college rule paper over um, blank or um, wide rule. So with this, I was able to do a lot more. And um, sometimes the lines got in the way. Sometimes they didn't. Um, sometimes they worked to my advantage. So I really like like doing this. However, um, we all know that spiral notebooks either come in. 60, 70, or 100 pages for one subject, and then you have your, your three and five subject notebooks as well. So I didn't want to really go that far as far as going to a three or five subject notebooks to have the room that um, you typically want in a bullet journal. Um, and part of that is because the longer you use a spiral notebook, the more the um, binding begins to to bend and get out of shape and then it's hard to turn your pages so um, I tried this one until I got through the full notebook and again I liked it but um, it wasn't really giving me everything that I was looking for in a journal um, the cool advantage to trying both of these notebooks was that I already owned these they were already in my stash uh, from some sort of um, Back to school sale that I, I had took advantage of in the past, so I didn't have to really invest into into a new journal. However, as I went along and discovered that these wasn't what I was looking for, I did try. I did um, go out and try to find something that I had heard other bullet journal journalists using. Um, so I went online and um, actually through eBay. I put the links below, um, and I found a bunch of um, mole scans. I found um, some with characters on them. Um, this is a this is a Lo Lego one, and then I found them in various different colors. This soft skin, soft um, soft cover mole skin, I actually found on um, Amazon for about ten dollars, and I really did like using it. Um, but I, before I went to this one, I actually tried. Um, I had a. I ended up buying two. Lego ones, um, same color by mistake. So I tried my other one, which was also blue. And um, when I flipped it open, I quickly realized that it had blank pages. I don't really like blank pages because I can never seem to draw a, a straight line or write straight on them. However, I did go through and try to use it. Um, I even printed off a lot of um, different spreads, um, which was a challenge within itself because you got to try to tweak the paper to. Um, match the size of the pages in the notebook and it didn't always work out the way I wanted and eventually even with just doing one month it began to bulge uh, my notebook and I wasn't really happy with that so I quickly ditched this one and I went over to the soft skin the soft cover mold skin and I really like this one um, I like this so much that I actually started going through and um, adding my previous months um, so that everything would be in one place. Um, towards the end of the notebook, I began to discover that um, although I can write small, 
sometimes I can't write small enough that um, I was comfortable with the boxes in the um, in this one. As you can see, um, it's dotted. Um, if I can get this to focus. All right, so my focus is there we go so now you can see the dots in there so this is dotted um, so after I had completed my April and my May setups I um, abandoned this one and um, found something that works a little bit better for me so I went over here to this spiral this five star um, this five star grid notebook and I like this much better because the grid boxes are um, much bigger and um, I don't always have to use two pages for a spread so um, so far I'm using this one and I really like it um, I have done April in here and I'm about to start May in um, just a little bit um, so I like this and then the other thing I did is that since I had invested all this money into these um, mold skins that I found on Amazon, I decided that um, there was something else I didn't like about my current setup. So, with the um, soft cover in here, in addition to my month, my um, you know, I haven't gone through and updated my index, but um, in addition to some of the spreads and collections that um, you'll see in other people's um, mold skins or um, bullet journals. Um, I also have um, some of my long-term collections like this one here is my uh, 40 by 40 bucket list. So this one I'm obviously going to be working on for a long time. Then I got my 50 by 50 and I also have my 101 in 1001 days. So these are all spreads that um, I consider to be long-term. Even um, this one here, um, states I visited. Um, so these long-term spreads what I'm finding is that as I um, complete one journal, um, I have to pick and choose what I want to migrate to the other to a new journal, or I have to deal with um, flipping back and forth between journals. So what I did with with when I switched over to the grid notebook is in here I pretty much just have the stuff I'm gonna be using right now today. So in here I have um, my future log, I have my, um, I spelled April wrong, don't shoot me, um, I have my monthly calendar, I have my spending log, I have my habit tracker, um, then I get into to my weeklies. So that's pretty much going to be the gist of this particular notebook and at another time I'll go through a um, um, better flip through for you. Um, so with the other mold screens I have, I decided to use that as a separate journal and um, in here is where I'm going to do all my long term spreads so, or collections. So here I have my 101, um, which I'm really excited about because I just knocked off about three items um, this week while I was on spring break. And then I go right into my... Um, uh, Here's another spread I was been working on in another notebook. It's my mom's birthday this summer, um, so I have my I have to complete these spreads, but or collections. But this is my 40 by 40, my 50 by 50 states I visited, and then I'm trying to read the Bible in one year. So that's another long term spread that I may not get through before finishing the other notebook. And here's one I'm really excited about as well. This is my um, couch to half marathon. Um, training log or training spread and um, it goes on from there so this is what I feel like works best for me and um, again I'll go through some better flip throughs for you guys later but um, those are the different notebooks I have tried and um, I'll put in the link below to um, to some of the notebooks that I have um, tried and see and then you can decide what works best for you um, in the meantime, check out my blog. Um, I put the link in below for that as well. If you have any other questions or concerns, leave them below or shoot me an email. Until next time, be blessed.